Uruguay and City have always proven to be a stubborn opposition every time they come up against the Mamelodi Sundowns, but the champions are standing to build up ahead of steam and are in ominous form. 100% record so far in the Betway Premiership for the defending champions as they look to make it five out of five and go back top of the table. A very good afternoon to you from the Peter Mukaba Stadium. It's a good ball in the Tauka! Straight at uh, Dennis Onyango, who is uh, making his first appearance in the Bedway Premiership. You see now, now how, how that ball flew away. Difficult first half uh, where. Now could be a chance. Tight angle! Oh! But uh, the ball was out of play and gone over. Matuludi thought, thought he had kept it in, but uh, no. Not the case. Now, chance here. Oh, Reynas couldn't get onto it. Well, it's about as close as they've come. Nice little ball from uh, Debo Mugwe. That's about as close as they've come to a goal. And what I'm not too sure, what was his line? As it comes in from Mugwe, away by Nikani. Solid header away, flicked on there by Apollis, and he's on his bike here now. He's got Chauke, and if he can cut it across there and try and... And he's allowed the Sundowns defence to regroup. Is he onside? Yeah, he is. Oh, wow! High risk defending there from Rashin Dariak, but he took it, managed to uh, put it up behind for a corner. How close was that? Fantastic counter-attack from... Uh, Pulukwane City, that's where they are at their most dangerous. Indeed, that is exactly what happened. It was a Sundowns set piece in their favor, but they stationed a Chauke and a police in perfect position to be able to link up in moments like this. Onside, uh, fact, uh, Yeah, I thought Rushin de Rie got there, but Chauke's header. Yeah. My goodness, Chauke, I mentioned that he has yet to score in the Betway Premiership. Now that kind of finishing tells you why. How does he not score there? And as I keep saying in these situations when the game involving Mamelodi Sundowns, there's the man, 37 years old. Imagine making your premiership debut at the age of 37. Now, Tarpolis threads it through. Chauke, it's a bit uh, heavy was that touch, so it's taking him away from goal. Matuludi, wow, what a spell here for. Oh, oh, oh. Wang Matuludi looking for something a little bit special. What a spell this is for Pulukwani City. 20 minutes to go. They're going to make another change. Matuludi goes again. Ho oh, ho! Tabang Matuludi. Tolo. Wow. He's unbelievable. He's a rare kind of a pullback. I mean, Jeepers. what a shot that was. With the laces. Yeah. Holy moly. He's had two strikes now, left, right, left and right. Mm. What a baller. Oh, Hanyango was there, to be fair. Now, Cole Alexander puts it into the mixer. Away. Solid header away, but only as far as Alexander again. He gets it in again. They're attacking it. Chance here to fire one in. Throwing his body on the line there was the... Was that uh, Rashin Deriak? Wonderful defending. Backs to the wall stuff here from Mamelodi Sundowns. What is going on here? In fact, this is a game that you not just naturally just go for. See out this one. Heavy strapping there on both knees for Cole Alexander. Let's see now. Needs to play. Oh, it's a perfect game! Pulukwani City get the breakthrough that they so richly deserve! It's Nikani the skipper who applied the touch! And Pulukwani City have thrown the cat amongst the pigeons here! And Nikani sneaks in the slightest of touches. Gets Dennis Onyango beaten. Bulelani Nikani doesn't get many. 
Here it comes now into the danger area. Whoa, Reynas, and a chance, oh, wide! What a chance, what a chance! As a Kudisa look, look to make it two goals in two matches, profiting from the second ball here. Rise and shine! Pulukwane City have beaten Mamelodi Sundowns by a goal to nil. Uh, Coach uh, Puti, I mean, you spoke about earlier how you wanted and you planned to take on the Sundown side. You stifled them and you got those three points. I think what we have done well today was to manage those uh, spaces in between uh, the, the defence and the spaces between the midfield, whereby Allende and uh, Matthews was operating, as well as uh, the spaces that was used by Morena on the side, as well as the one that was used by Tiwani on the other side. So we managed that uh, uh, perfectly well. We forced, we forced them to go wide, but we have set the traps that when they go wide, the moment they they receive the ball, we must make sure that uh, we, we, we pounce on them. And you, you seem to have the correct ingredients on how to uh, stifle Mamelodi Sundowns, which she did. But then we could have been speaking about two to three goals here this afternoon, Coach. Uh, the thing is, uh, we cannot match them in terms of uh, possession because we are a team that uh, basically go for with the uh, defensive structure. So we made sure that uh, we defend well against Sundowns. We, we block whatever that they throw at us and uh, we, we go on counter-attacks. We also use the set pieces and we scored from one. And uh, that is the only way that as Polokwane City we do well against Sundowns. You finally get the much needed three points that you need. You go up the table in the Betway Premiership. In your next game, uh, you'd like to continue the way that you played here today? Yeah, in the next match we are playing Royal AM, the team that is also difficult to beat at home and uh, the team that is playing so well. No difference, no much difference in terms of playing to, to sundowns. The spaces that they occupy, so we are, we are facing another tough match. So we just need to, to grind the results. But Puti, you know, I think we speak about how you figured out sundowns. You play Royal AM, but uh, in November you meet up again with uh, Mamelodi Sundowns. So that's another matchup. I think we are going to play a different sundowns when we play them at home, uh, because most of the of the of the players now are arrested. I think uh, they're just doing the rotational system. So I think that is where it caught up with them. Congratulations, nonetheless. No thanks, thanks. Um, if you look at today's encounter, no shot on target. Uh, Bulukwani City managed to get that win from you guys. Um, how, how would you uh, ascertain how Sundowns played today? No, our first half uh, was horrible, I must be honest. Our first half was, uh, we were just nowhere. We, in the final third, we could not make any combinations. We did get into the final third several times where maybe a better decision from Tesh, a better decision from Ikram, Maybe if we did not lose the ball, maybe when we got into Ikram's feet, which resulted in a counter-attack. But those moments when you don't translate them into, into chances, which is almost the same thing that happened uh, midweek, because uh, we had the same scenario against Raleigh M where we got into the final third, but it, it does not yield anything. If you look at the pass that Tiwane played uh, for, for Ikram, you would expect Ikram to receive that ball and finish it, but on the day, it just was not to be, and we must congratulate the opponents. They, they fought, they were strong, and we always knew they are strong on set pieces, which is why we also tried to load ourselves with high, aerially strong players in order to be able to deal with that. But I think we, we were just caught up in, in a game where I think not many things were going right for us because we had almost all our, our best players on the day, but unfortunately, the results was not to be, and we knew it's not, it was not going to be easy. We never took it for granted because we know they are a team that always gives us a lot of trouble, but unfortunately on the day, it was just not to be. And the injuries to Tash and Mabena, how did they affect how you tactically uh, plan to take on City? Oh, obviously, you have lost. Tash is a big player that has already established himself into the team. Mabena was really trying to come back, but uh, uh, unfortunately, when he got injured like that, we will have the effects of not having Tesh, but uh, we will have Lucas back uh, going forward. 
and we will have most of the players that played midweek also back. So we, we, sh we, should, we should be fine. And speaking about midweek, it does continue for Mamadi Sundowns. How does Sundowns regain themselves from this loss against the City in the next encounter with Cape Town City? No, no, no. We, we have to come back and I trust the boys will come back. We, there was a lot of wrong things in this match and obviously you will expect a reaction from our team because this is not how we normally play. I think in the second half we really tried to push Polo Wale City backwards. But again, we gave away a lot of chances in that, in that moment where when we lose possession of the ball and their counter-attacks, they are always very fierce. Congratulations to them. I think they played very well. And to be honest, I think they deserve to win the match. Coach, thank you so much for your time. Good luck in your next encounter. Thank you.